Welcome to your guide to building an automated reminder system for your business. Creating effective email and text message reminders is really easy with Gazelle. But this is more than just telling your customers they need to tune their piano again. It's about making it easy for customers to do business with you. So let's help you get started using Gazelle's automated reminders. Step one, customize your reminders. This includes creating messages for email, text messages, reminder calls, and sending the right message to the right customer at the right time. Step two, announce your new system. And step three, get better results. Let's start with step one, customizing your reminders. Everything you need is located here under settings, then reminders. But before we dive into the details, let's pan back and talk about the big picture to help you better understand how reminders work and things you can easily do to build a better reminder system. To do that, we're first going to talk about your piano service reminders. So let's imagine you're at a customer's home and you've just finished servicing their piano. You're going to tell Gazelle on the piano file how often this piano needs to be serviced. This could be every six months, 12 months, or whatever interval you choose. From here, your automated reminders are completely customizable. Here's how they work. The first thing Gazelle does after you service a piano is nothing. Because nothing needs to happen until it's due for service again. But eventually, Gazelle sees that according to your reminder configuration, this piano is now coming due for tuning. This could be a week before they're due, 10 days before they're due, or even a month if you want to give more advance notice to get on your calendar. From here, you tell Gazelle whether you want to send these customers automated reminders, text messages, or phone calls where Gazelle will remind you to reach out to this customer through your call center. Each of these reminder messages are optional, and messages can be sent just once or be repeated if the customer doesn't respond within a certain amount of time. Now, if this customer doesn't respond to any of your coming due for tuning messages, you'll have the opportunity to send them additional messages as they become due for tuning or overdue for tuning using the optional overdue for tuning reminder states, which are recommended but not required. And you get to decide how much time a piano spends in each reminder state. Now, for people who are on top of their game and schedule right away, they'll exit the piano reminders and start receiving appointment based reminders for the appointment that is now on your calendar. And this is true for all the reminder states. As soon as the piano is scheduled, it stops receiving due for tuning reminders because the appointment has been scheduled. But if the customer is super busy and doesn't respond within your prescribed amount of time, Gazelle automatically moves them into your due for tuning reminder state. And if they still don't respond, then Gazelle progresses them to the first overdue state you've enabled where you can change up the messages, the frequency, and adjust the cadence to reflect the fact that this customer probably isn't the kind of person who's going to service their piano on time every year. Most people set this first overdue state to transition 30 days after the recommended service interval has lapsed. And you tell Gazelle when, if at all, you want customers to transition into the next overdue state, say six months after the recommended service date has lapsed. And Overdue for tuning stage three, say one year after their recommended service date has passed. Whatever you choose for their final reminder state, you can stop sending reminders at any point or tell your final reminder state to keep sending messages once a year or at some really low frequency. And a lot of people choose to drop the phone call reminders for these overdue customers and even some of the text message reminders. Ultimately, what you choose to do is up to you. And Gazelle can handle a wide variety of configurations, messages, and schedules in each state. But no matter what you do, because you have a great reminder system, more people flow into your calendar because fewer people are falling through the cracks. Now, the reality is there's a lower and lower probability someone will book the deeper they move into your overdue for tuning states. And eventually, you probably want to just inactivate the customer altogether. But just having these overdue states enabled and sending occasional reminders out one to two times a year can add thousands of dollars in extra revenue to your business with customers who otherwise would be lost forever. It's up to you how long you want to hold on to customers who are not frequently servicing their piano. The point here is that with automated reminders, more people land on your calendar 
more often than they would have otherwise. Now, when you schedule an appointment in Gazelle, whether it's for tomorrow, next week, or next year, Gazelle stops sending the customer the piano do for tuning message and shifts to appointment-based messages to help remind the customers and prevent no-shows. You do this by immediately emailing the customer an automated message saying, hooray, your appointment's on the calendar. Here are the details. Now for appointments scheduled in the near future, you can tell Gazelle to automatically confirm the event and remind the customer the day before or the day of their appointment. But for appointments scheduled far out in the future, the needs of the customer are different. And your Gazelle reminder system understands this, starting with the fact that today, Gazelle might not need to do anything because the event is really far out in the future. But at some point, it's time to confirm the appointment because you need to make sure the customer hasn't forgotten. But we call this the needs confirmation state. You tell Gazelle when you want your unconfirmed appointments to start receiving messages, and then you make it really easy for the customer to click or tap to confirm their appointment. For customers who are on top of their game, they usually respond immediately, and Gazelle sends them an automated thank you for confirming your appointment message, which you can customize. From here, you can send them a final reminder the day before or the day of their appointment. And the reality is, this is the optimistic version of events. Your customer gets a reminder to confirm, immediately responds, gets a single reminder the day before or the day of. They greet you with a smile, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, everything's right in the world. Except this isn't always how it happens. So if you have a customer who's receiving your needs confirmation messages and they are not responding for any reason, at some point, it's time to change up your messaging, be a little more firm, and remind the customer that if they need to confirm their appointment, if they want to keep it on your calendar. We call this optional state the critical confirmation state. For many customers, they're eventually going to click or tap the link to confirm their appointment. They just needed that extra push from your critical confirmation state because they're the kind of person who waits until the last minute to do everything. Right, we can't change how your customers prioritize their life, but we can make it so your confirmation system is fully automated so you don't have to spend your evenings trying to reach customers at the last minute. And if they never confirm, you can always decide if or when to remove their appointment from your calendar. No matter what the situation, Gazelle's reminders are flexible enough to accommodate every scheduling scenario you can imagine. And you have full control over how long your appointments spent in each of your confirmation reminder states and the types of messages you choose to send for each situation. And Gazelle's reminders are not limited to just pianos and appointments. You can send general messages to all of your new customers to confirm the address, email, phone numbers you have on file. This is an automated and low key way to help you prevent typos and human error from sending you to the wrong address. You can also message all your active customers by sending general reminders that have absolutely nothing to do with whether their piano is due for service or whether they have an appointment on the books. The most common use case here is to comply with privacy laws and notifications you might be required to send out each year. Or you could set this message up on a delay so that if in five years this customer is still actively servicing their piano, you could automate a special thank you for supporting our business type message. You don't have to use these general reminder states, but they're there if you need them. Okay, now that you have an idea of what's possible, let's dive into the nuts and bolts of how to configure your automated reminders in Gazelle. So go to settings, reminders. The first time you set up a reminder, you'll need to click the add button at the top of the page and decide whether you want to create a reminder from scratch or use one of our suggested templates that come with pre-written messages and recommended configurations. With these templates, you can build a great automated reminder system with the click of a button. So in this example, we're going to choose Gazelle's Grow My Business Reminder Template. When you first create one of Gazelle's templates, you'll notice that certain reminder states are already enabled with messages and recommended schedules. You can use this as is or customize it for your needs. To edit the reminder configuration, you'll notice it's divided into two sections, messages, where you can edit the individual messages you want to send for each state, and this includes emails, text messages, etc., and configuration, 
where you set up your rules for how much time your pianos and appointments will spend in each reminder state. So let's click on configuration to begin customizing this reminder. At the top of the configuration page, you can decide if you want this to be your default reminder, so your new customers will automatically be added to this reminder, and configure your appointment confirmation states. Let's take a closer look. You can choose to require appointment confirmation, enable a critical confirmation state, choose whether or not you want Gazelle to automatically cancel any unconfirmed appointments, and choose your preference for automatically confirming appointments scheduled in the near future. Next, you'll configure your piano due for tuning reminder states and decide when you want pianos to enter your coming due for tuning state. You can enable your due for tuning reminder state and then decide if you want to enable any of your overdue for tuning reminder states. When you finish configuring these settings, you'll be halfway towards having a great automated reminder system. And this is an important step. Save your changes. Then navigate back to your message tab. You're now ready to set up the various messages and schedules for each of the reminder states you've enabled. At the top are all of your general messages, where you can set up your automated messages for prospect, new, and active customers. These are the messages that have nothing to do with whether the customer has a piano due for service or an appointment on your calendar. Next, you'll configure your piano due for service messages. This is where you can edit your coming due for tuning, due for tuning, and overdue for tuning reminder states. These reminders only send to active customers who don't yet have an appointment on the and who currently have at least one piano due for service. And at the bottom, you'll find all of your reminder states messages for the appointments on your calendar. This is where you can edit your appointment needs confirmation, critical confirmation, appointment confirmed, and appointment today messages. These messages only send when the customer has an appointment in any of these appointment reminder states. All right, it's time to customize what you want to say. So let's use the do for tuning reminder states as an example. Show you how to configure your message templates and the frequency with which you want to send reminders in each state. At the top of each state, you'll be able to click on the individual tabs to enable or disable the email, phone, or text message reminders. Once you have a message type enabled, you'll first set the schedule or frequency for how often you want these messages to go out, whether you want them to send one time or on a repeated basis, and whether you want the messages sent immediately or on a delay. So from here, you'll customize what each of your messages will say. You have the option of sending a special first message for the first time the customer receives a message inside the state and a standard message for all subsequent messages in this series. You can edit each of your message templates by clicking the edit button. You can preview each of your messages by clicking the preview button and view an example message by clicking on the example button to use the default text Gazelle recommends for any given state. All you have to do is go through each state individually enable the states you want to send messages for, and customize the messages for that state. And remember to save. With that, you're ready to assign customers the reminder. With Gazelle, you can easily build an automated reminder system that sends the right message to the right customers at the right time. And if you want some extra tips for writing great reminders or handling specific situations, head over to help.gazelleapp.io. All right, you're now ready for step two. Let's announce your new system and talk through all the little details that make launching a reminder system a success. Reminders that work are always three things, anticipated, relevant, and personal. So keep in mind that if this is the first time you've ever used an automated reminder system for all your existing customers, the first message they receive is not going to be anticipated. So ease your existing customers into receiving automated reminders by keeping your first message very low key. To do this, send one email and one test message that simply says, we have a new online scheduling system. If you've been meeting to schedule, click or tap here. Otherwise, we'll be in touch the next time your piano is due for service. Short, sweet, and very effective. 
And if you want step-by-step -step instructions for how to do this, go to help.gazelleapp.io and read our help article on introducing existing customers to reminders. All right, so your reminders are now going to be anticipated by your customers. Let's move on to the second thing, keeping reminders relevant. And to be honest, this is really easy. If the reminder state you're using is called do for tuning, then make one of the first things you say in your message, Jane, your piano is due for tuning. Keeping messages short, sweet, and to the point will go a long way towards keeping them relevant. But there are also some other things you should consider. Our favorite thing to do is to send customers a text message an hour before their appointment saying, I look forward to seeing you at this time. I will call if I'm running late. Now notice that we didn't say, I'm on my way. We just said, I look forward to seeing you at 11 a.m. and then promise to call if we're running late. So you have the flexibility if your day isn't going as planned. Now, if the customer is out running errands and has forgotten about the appointment, they have time to turn around and meet you at the house. And even better, they'll not be surprised if you need to call because you're running a little behind schedule. And in your piano do for tuning reminder messages, add relevancy by rewording your messages to reference things your automated system has already done. For instance, if you're sending your due for tuning email out as your first message and you know your text message is going to go out five days later, then in the text you can mention, I'm following up on the email I sent you last week. And you can increase your response rates even more by giving the customer a relevant and timely phone call. By combining all three message types, you increase customer engagement. Now, most people don't answer the phone. But you will notice is that after leaving a voicemail later that night, they respond to your voicemail by booking online or replying to one of the messages you sent them a few days ago. If you're using your critical confirmation appointment reminder states, you can say things like, we've sent you a few messages trying to confirm. And if we don't hear from you, we will need to reschedule this appointment. You're keeping things relevant to the state of the message it's in. Lastly, you can make your reminders more relevant by creating more than one reminder for the needs of a specific group of customers. So maybe you want to create a special reminder for your residential customers, another for your churches and institutional customers, and another for customers who want reminders but don't want to be contacted very often. Or maybe you plan to retire soon. So you're going to divide your customers into groups with your best customers in one group, mediocre customers in another, and the I will service if you call or get desperate, but I'm not going out of my way group. And this leads us to our third thing. Be more personal in all of your communication. The most pleasing sound to the human ear is the sound of your own name. So use the customer's first name in the greetings of your messages. Also use the same client first name merge code up in the subject line to help stand out in the crowded inbox. So few businesses do this that it's an easy way to cut through all the digital noise and get your customers to read your messages. And if you're a freelance technician working by yourself, then personally sign your name at the end of all your automated test messages and strike a celebratory and lighthearted tone in your messages by saying things like, hooray, your appointment's on the calendar. And for your piano service reminders, say things like, it's time to think about your piano again. And lastly, being personal goes both ways. So create a logo and icon for your business and use your business name at the top of all your messages. So your business has more of a personality to share with your customers. Being personal in each of these little ways goes a long way towards creating a better reminder system for your business and a better customer experience with your automated reminder system. Which leads us to step three get better results. With an automated reminder system, you can more confidently offer things like online booking and use your voicemail message to direct people to book online by selling the fact that they can trust your business to be on top of the ball when it comes to caring for its customers. And you can also promote your attention to detail on your website as just another small reason why doing business with you is going to be easy, refreshing, and differentiated from the other service providers in your area. And if you don't have a website or you want to improve the site you have, check out our help articles on tips for building a powerful and simple website. Lastly, talk about the simplicity of your automated reminders and scheduling system every time you communicate with your customers. A well-designed automated reminder system is going to make it easier for your customers to do business with you and confidently promise customers that you will remember 
to remind them the next time their piano service is due. But when you don't have a great reminder system, customers fall through the cracks. Revenue falls off your calendar, customers never get reminded on time, and people who would otherwise schedule an appointment get left by the wayside and forgotten along the way. Instead, with a great reminder system, you stay focused and give your best energy to providing outstanding service for your customers. And this includes giving them a great automated reminder system that always sends the right message to the right customer at the right time. So set up your reminders today. Go to settings, then under messages, click on reminders and start getting better results for your business. By building a great automated reminder system, you can save time and wow your customers by going from someone who struggles to stay on top of all your reminders to someone who has a great automated system that makes it easy for your customers to do business with you. If you have any questions, the team at Gazelle will be here to assist you along the way.